Hey everybody, Mr. Scala coming at you live through the digital world. All right, so today in class, we talked about, we did a little bit of a review from yesterday, and we talked about how yesterday we learned about how plants reproduce sexually, and things like bacteria and paramecium reproduce asexually. And the difference between asexual and sexual reproduction is that in sexual reproduction, there needs to be a sperm cell and an egg cell that get combined to make the offspring. And in asexual reproduction, there doesn't need to be that. Asexual reproduction is pretty much the bacterium or paramecium, whatever type of cell it is, is taking in enough nutrients until it can literally uh, split in half, which is called binary fission. So we talked about how mammals, including humans, reproduce sexually. Parents pass on their characteristics to their offsprings. Um, we looked at classmates and how what they have in common and what differences they have. So we all have things in common such as legs, arms, eyes, nose, ears, hair, and those are all called features. And how those things differ from one another such as arm length, eye color, hair color, attached earlobes or unattached earlobes are called traits. All the different traits of a feature describe the variation of that feature. And to summarize, a feature is an inherited trait. A trait is the individual expression of a feature. And the variation is the range of the differences between the traits of a feature and the individual of a population. So like the variation is going from, for talking about hair, it's talking about hair all the way from blonde hair all the way to black hair and anything in between. And this is our vocab words. So. I'm going to make this the thumbnail for today. And like I said, 40 likes on YouTube, and I'll make it the thumbnail next time. If not, you'll have to try to find it in the video. So I'm just going to give you a moment. I go ahead and pause the video here. All right, we're going to continue forward. Make sure you get these four typed up. Then in class, we looked at the difference. We looked at our features and our traits between cats and dogs. So we had two minutes, three minutes, and then we shared as a class. Keeping in mind, a feature is things like having legs, arms, eyes, etc. And the trait is an expression, so like eye color. So if we're thinking about cats and dogs, just based off this picture alone and our own, you know, knowledge of cats and dogs. They both have two ears, two eyes, one nose, tongues, teeth, four legs, tails, fur. So those are features that they share. Traits that are different could be, well, just based on this picture, the dog's ears are larger. The shape of the cat's eyes are, large, are different than the dog's. Nose size, tongue size, tongue texture, teeth size, and then we're looking at other things that can be different is for traits is fur. And if we think about dogs now just by themselves and all the different types of dogs, there are many different traits that, that are different among them, such as length of nose, shape of ears, whether they're floppy or straight up, uh, length of fur, texture of it, color of it, tail size, whether it's short, long, you know, we could go on all day with the different traits that dogs possess. And then in class, we went through, we actually looked at individually, well, not individually, but as a whole class, the features of everyone. We looked at the pinky finger. Is your pinky finger straight or bent? So this would be an example of a straight one. They come up and they literally touch, and here is our bent. We looked at our earlobes, whether they are attached directly to our face, or they're unattached. And then we looked at if we could curl our tongue. Another thing, that trait would be a widow's peak, where it literally comes to a peak and then it goes back. This is a widow's peak, and this is just a normal, flat. So we did this as a class, and this is some of the data we received from one of those classes, Core 2. Six out of the 22 in here had straight fingers while the rest of them had bent little fingers. Three had attached earlobes and 19 had free earlobes. 
20 could curl their tongue and two could not. So for looking at this, this is like the majority, majority here. Majority can curl their tongue, majority have free earlobes, and majority have a bent little finger. So we had common, we had uh, things in common, we also had some differences. And then the last thing we did was we watched two minutes of this video. Working at my family's pet store is always an adventure. Apart from cleaning out the cages, it's a pretty cool job. Especially when any of the animals have babies. Like the other day, when three new hamsters were born. As a kid who's just wild for animals, my friend James knows that most living things look pretty much like their parents. Kids certainly resemble their parents. For starters, they usually have two arms and legs, ten fingers and toes. But that's just the beginning. Your parents influence everything about you, from the shape of your nose to the texture of your hair. Want to know the long and short of why you look the way you do? Then let's get moving, because this is the human body in action. will look like when they're grown. They could look like the mother, or maybe they'll look more like the father. Whether you're talking hamsters or people, or even plants, the babies are called offspring. Still, no offspring is an exact copy of just one parent. Everybody gets a mix of characteristics from both of their parents. That's why you can end up with your mom's mouth and your dad's eyes. Things that define who you are as an individual are known as traits. And traits that are passed down from parents to their children are called inherited traits. Like the shape of your ears, how tall you are, or the color of your eyes. Where do these traits come from? They are inherited, passed down from generation to generation. And it all starts with the microscopic build. All right. And that's where we ended class for the day. Uh, Thank you for tuning in to my TED Talk. Uh, please come back tomorrow for more interesting tips, tricks, and life hacks. Uh, just kidding, but have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.